And now we can start the next one. Try to put markers down on... Holy fucking super shit. fucking mechanic. That's goofy as hell. <laughs> That's a goofy one. So we're on world, what, seven? And we're halfway through the exits of this game? Where the hell are the rest of the exits? How many worlds are in this? in the munchers yep yep god damn it and kayuki's at it again is there was dkc one two and three and i wish they made a proper dkc form instead of the waste that was donkey kong 64 that's what uh tropical freeze was tropical freeze was fucking amazing hell even the weed donkey kong country was really fucking good dkc returns and uh DKC Tropical Freeze were fucking incredible games. I'd, I'd love to have another fucking, like, in, like, the same era, line as Tropical Freeze. Give us one of those on the Switch. Holy shit. Better just give us fucking Tropical Freeze on the Switch. Like, goddamn. Fuck. I couldn't tell where I was landing. Oh, yeah, no, those games actually were pretty tough. They're, they're really good. I'm a big fan of DKC1. I'm not- I don't really care too much for DKC2 and 3. For the main reason of I, I want to play as Donkey Kong. <laughs> the Donkey Kong game and I don't get to play as Donkey Kong, so that's kind of where those two kind of fell off on me for, for that. But, uh, I otherwise really like all three of them. But, uh... the third DKC returns me for the next Switch console? Ah, maybe. Yeah, I definitely, definitely like DKC 1. I mean, that's the same thing. Crash Bandicoot's the same way for me, though. I like Crash Bandicoot 1. I really don't care for Crash Bandicoot 2 or 3. And then I really like Crash 4, so... There, there is that. not take this. Yeah, I really like Crash Bandicoot 1. I'm not, not too ha too keen on Crash 2 and 3, but uh, I do like Crash 1 quite a bit. I, I just like that Crash, Crash 1 feels like a platformer. Yeah, dude, Diddy Kong Racing would be sick to bring back. Diddy Kong Racing was, like, everything Mario Kart was that was good, and then had everything Mario Kart didn't have. One of the games I played growing up was Crash 3, so you better watch your mouth, or else I'll edit funny things about you. You're gonna edit funny things about me anyway. What are you talking about? Save feature. 
It'd be really funny if Freelance edited this entire, like, playthrough with, like, a CRT overlay on it. Instead of it just sounds- so it sounds like one and looks like one. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how long that would take to fucking re-render the whole thing. It's Bertha! My Bertha's dead! I killed her! She's back! <laughs> I'm fucking dead. <laughs> I'm at the feeling of playing the game at night, but it has one really loud moment, so you have to scramble for the remote to turn it down before your parents wake up. <sighs> Thankfully, with the fact that I always had a bedroom on the second floor, I never had to worry about that. So I, I actually don't know what that's like, so I can't emulate that, unfortunately. Weird ass levels did you miss, Uno Gamer? Uh, we did. We finished the stupid castle. We did all of World 6, which World 6 was kind of crap until the castle, which was hard but really fun, honestly. And then, um, there's the shmup level. It's World 6 4 save, or the save the entirety of World 6. Uh, World 6 3 is getting over it with Bennett Foddy, and it was awful. Zero out of ten would not recommend. I'm fucking the fish everywhere! All up in my face! With the weird the feeling of hiding your DS under your bed, but as you do, Mario rats you out by going bye-bye. <laughs> Uh... It really is starting to look like a fucking CRT, isn't it? I really, really hope the Super Nintendo is not dying. That would really suck. <laughs> that would really, really suck. Oh, uh, hang on. We're gonna try something, and I don't know if it's gonna work. <laughs> what, the, what was the rest of World 7 like? Uh, World 7 has not been bad, actually. It has not been a bad, uh, setup. This is, uh... <laughs> I'm really thinking the Super Nintendo might be on its last legs, chat. It might be dying. That's... Not fantastic. I mean, this is an this is an original thing. Like this is I've had this since I was little. I've owned this con the Super Nintendo for probably the better part of God 20 years. Uh, I still remember this was I think this Super Nintendo I bought with my like fifth paycheck ever. The spinning black lines, yeah, dude. It's I, it, I'm not intentionally emulating this to look like a CRT. That's the Super Nintendo doing that, which means that the video output on this thing is probably about on its own. Let's let me try one other. Hang on. Let me see one other. What else is plugged into this? See if it's the other con if it's that console or not. Okay, it's not the capture card. It's definitely the console doing this. Oh, so we've narrowed it down. This is gonna be the this is gonna be the, the technical difficulties vod of figuring out whether or not this is dying or like converter kits. Oh well, we got a 
blue screen. Where are we on? Oh, uh oh. Hold, hold, please. Uh oh. Can I get some Prage in chat for the Super Nintendo? I uh I don't know if she's gonna make it. <laughs> I don't know if she's gonna make it, chat. This might be it. Don't look good. It's not looking not looking too hot. No video out. Oh no. Uh oh. Huh? Oh, it is reading video. Oh, I hope it's not the EverDrive that died. That would really suck. These are a pain in the ass to get. Hang on. Let me try one other thing. Get box of games. Try another cartridge and see if it's if it's the, if it's the Super Ever Drive. I'm gonna be really really mad because I spent a lot of money on this. I plug this thing back in and it doesn't turn on. I'm gonna need recommendations for a new emulator cart. <laughs> Not the Super Nintendo. Not the Super Nintendo. The Super EverDrive. <sighs> that sucks. <laughs> that sucks a lot. <laughs> The good news is, we can still keep playing this hack on the save data on PC because it all gets saved to a micro SD card. Bad news is, is I like playing on hardware. <laughs> okay. Now I'm concerned that the SD card is corrupted. <laughs> 
It's about to be damn you, Sandisk. So if you've ever wondered, chat, why your favorite streamers generally play on emulator, um... Turns out, playing on consoles is a huge fucking pain in the ass sometimes. Well, that was the, that was the cartridge plugged in without the, uh, card plugged into it. Oh, I'm not optimistic about this one. A device called a Mister that I've heard good things about. Some open source that emulates multiple consoles. Ah. Yeah, honestly, the most ideal thing I would have really loved to have is a fucking Super NT. Would have been great because it's a more modern hardware and I don't have to worry about it breaking because the Super Nintendo is old. <laughs> but the only other thing that I have an issue with the Super EverDrive outside of now this current problem is uh, that it doesn't run, uh, it doesn't have the SA1 chip in it. So like there's certain hacks I can't, like that's why we played Plumber for All Seasons on emulator was because I can't play it on this. Like a cat hair in this? Is that what it is? What are you growling at? This is not ideal. <laughs> this is this is not great, chat. I'm gonna make sure I'm not crazy. Mario will start to jump. Chat Nintendo Nintendo patched my Super Nintendo. My Super Nintendo can't play ROM hacks anymore. How can I tell it's not the Super Nintendo? Because this is literally a Super Mario World cartridge plugged into the console, turned on and running without any issues. There's no sound font problems. There's nothing going on with it. The only, like, the only sound delay is the capture card needs to be reset because that's just what happens with this capture card. That's, that's literally... This cartridge, actual Super Mario World, doesn't have a problem. Look, Super EverDrive in, and we get a black screen. I must say, I'm a bit disappointed. I, I am a bit disappointed. It's definitely... Definitely disappointing to see. I will have to look into a different... Uh, a different hardware cartridge for that. And I need, will have to figure out then... Uh, whether or not we can pull the ROM off of that. And play it on... PC on the emulator and still have the save file. So I don't know where we're going to be with this. SMB1X is uh, possibly up in the air for the moment, Jet. This is, this is, I don't know what we're doing with this one. This is, uh... That's a new one. I haven't had this happen before. I, that's even funnier, too, is I have cartridges that are as old as I am that still run and still have no problems and they operate without any issue. And then, here we are with this.
and it's broken. <laughs> Just straight up died on me. Hmm. Yeah, well, I guess SMB1X is potentially up in the air because we'll have to figure this one out. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Never finishing the hack, I guess. Yeah, this is fucking the hack that was never was destined not destined to be. Because you can tell the switch the, the, the Super Nintendo is turning on. You can see it clicking on. But I'm not registering anything from the Super EverDrive. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is dead chat. That sucks a lot. That really blows. And I haven't even I haven't even had this that long. I got this in fucking what we started Plumber for All Seasons in February, like February March. It's the equivalent of Nintendo wanting to sue you, yeah. Now, like I said, they they patched it. They just they hot fixed my Super Nintendo. It doesn't play doesn't play ROM hacks anymore. <laughs> the, Nintendo sent their enforcers that are on their way. <laughs> Oh. <sighs> yep. All right. Well, we'll marker this. I'll edit this part later. Um. Let's uh. We'll we'll we're just gonna take a pause from actually working on the ROM hack. Part of the vod. Let's find out if we can even still play that save file. Oh, sleep with one eye open just to be safe. Hang on, let me get my th my micro SD reader out so we can actually find out if this is salvageable or not.